Hello, this is Jennifer Bailey, and in this lecture, I'm going to show you how to use the auto sum to calculate the total amount of a range of cells and also the average formula. We're now going to add a total cell so we can add up our total gross pay, our total deductions, and our total net pay. So, what we need to do is go to the bottom of the columns. I need to push enter to move down a little bit further. So it's these last three columns here, we want to have a total. And it's really easy to do in Excel. All you need to do is click the auto sum button here, and it will highlight the cells that it thinks should be included in the auto sum. And it automatically puts the formula in for you. So equals sum, and this in brackets means from E4, to E34 and if you're happy with that you just push enter and it automatically puts in and Excel has automatically assumed that we want to have 25% of this cell calculated and also the result of E35 minus deductions and it's put it in there automatically for you. How clever is that? So we'll just type in total in here to remind us what we've done. And the next thing we're going to do is average. So we're going to work out what our average gross pay is. So what we're going to do is this time is we're going to use the average formula. So you just type equals and this time you start type typing in average. And as you can see, Excel prompts us with some examples of average formula we could use. You now need to put in the cell range you want to work at an average for. So we open our brackets and we want to we don't want to include this number here because obviously that will throw our numbers out. So we want to go from E34 and I'm just going to highlight the range that I want to use like so. I mean you can just type in the range like so and I'm going to close the brackets and push enter. Now automatically we have our average of that range so 45.59 pounds was our average gross pay and Excel again has automatically calculated what our average 25% deductions is and also our average take home pay our net pay. So in summary, in this lecture, I've shown you how to use the auto sum feature in Excel to add up a column of figures and also how to use the average formula too. We've also seen how clever Excel can be by predicting what types of formula and results we want to see. I'm Jennifer Bailey and thank you for watching.